kids with modified coursework don't get credit for an endorsement. So I just want to make sure that we don't have in policy something that references a legal term in House Bill 5 and we're saying that they that we're not being clear enough to say that they don't have to actually get credit for the endorsement in order to receive the honor graduate status. So I don't you know my my legal brain was working and I was like well that's really a term a legal term. So I, I don't know that I have the answer right now but we can work with Miss James to see if we can't craft something that approaches it. oh you are voting. We're right voting now. on it now. So. Mr. Scamardo, we did talk about this. Do you have any um we did. Whoa. Uh oh, we have a workman's comp. Man. <laughs> what? We're using that fund for something else, Mr. Scamardo. <laughs> Just want to make sure everybody was awake. Uh, we did discuss it, but I don't know the answer to your question whether there's something specific in the policy that would, would speak to that. So. Um, well, so I might would. So this is this would be my recommendation that we amend the language to say. Um, foundation program uh, why do we need to say foundation program with endorsement why don't we just say foundation program does it matter it it's my understanding the foundation program with endorsement is just the name of the graduation program itself but it's we it has that name because of house bill five mm -hmm. is that the, is the, that what's written in our in our uh, course catalog what's written in the course catalog that the title maybe we can use that language actually I think dr. Hill may be able to enlighten us on that yeah. well, Help us. So, it's on. I think that we want so that we need to are we clear we need to clarify the difference are, are we wanting to recognize students in the honors program for students that have taken the foundation that the coursework for foundations with endorsement, which is different than the coursework for just foundations. So I think the idea would be to say, if it wasn't for the fact that that the state doesn't allow exactly. students who've had modified coursework in their in their endorsement, they would be getting um, they would be getting credit and be recognized as having a foundation with endorsements. But the state wouldn't allow that. So what we're saying in in this local policy is we're recommending that we honor students that have been successful in taking all of the coursework for foundations with endorsements or even the distinguished foundation program but their IEP um, indicates that they would be modified you know or, or whatever their IEP indicates so so maybe the per students IEP is enough of a modifier to get around the house bill five well, so let me ask you as I appreciate it does it accomplish the same objective if you just after the phrase level of achievement you just removed uh, the rest of that all the way through program with endorsement because isn't the real key driver is that they have accomplished the requirements of the distinguished level of achievement without having to tie it to any reference to foundation or no, I foundation think we, well, I think it has to. Yeah, yeah, there are different requirements for each one of those. Yeah. So if you look at the, the bulleted piece right above that, that's why I was suggesting that that's how they describe the two graduation programs. And so what Dina was saying is the intent of that last statement is to really honor the fact that we've got students who meet all of the requirements other than House Bill 5 not awarding them the foundation due to the modified curriculum, but in Fort Bend, our policy locally states that if they've met all the requirements, we will honor them as honor graduates. Okay. I, I think you're right, and I think that the per student's IEP as a modifier helps with that. Right. So I just wanted to make sure that we were not doing anything that boxed right. us in. So mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you for all the work. Yeah, and my recollection also f after Mr. Scamar's book, so the very first part of that sentence, students served under special education who meet all the coursework, it's talking about the ones who've met the coursework and done all the requirements, whether it's... Under this, under this program or under this program. Program as, okay. as defined by their IEP. Okay. And that's what it's going for. It's the state... It, it's it's what the state says, but it's redefined under their IEP, and that's what we're talking about. Their particular student, that particular student's coursework. So, 
Good. I well, thank you guys for that. So because of you, my daughter's going to graduate magna cum laude. So I appreciate it. So we don't have an amendment to this. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Please vote by show of hands. Motion passes unanimously. May I have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Our meeting is adjourned.